I have to ask, if we do move Anderson, you don't what's to. your top three goalie wish list? Hmm. So you got to pair somebody with Jack Campbell. Who you guys got? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. He had That's to ask question. it. You know why he had to ask it? Because it's good. Hmm. Uh, okay. I got a, I got a list. Do you okay, so do list, I. Or should I go? I got a list. You go. Okay. Jakob Markstrom is on that list. Mm-hmm. Supposedly, the Leafs are willing to – Jacob Markstrom. Canucks fans always yell at me. Uh, supposedly, he is on the Leafs r- radar, and they are willing to at least kick tires on him. I am willing to kick tires on a goalie that good. A player who the Arizona Coyotes are mystifyingly shopping, because apparently they have no money, is Darcy Kemper. And I think he's been one of the better goalies in the NHL over the past two seasons. I would love him. And just because the Leafs keep getting linked with the Carolina Hurricanes, give me some James Reimer. I, d- I, just, I just want some James Reimer. You said wish list, and I wish for James. That is all. What high-end prospect are they getting for taking James Reimer's contract? Mm. I'm serious. because I a sure three, would like him. Make a three-something, isn't he? He'd be making double what Jack Campbell's making. So what's interesting about James Reimer is he's making $2.25 million in bonus this year. And then his base salary is just eight fifty. I bet the hurricanes could finagle some sort of very interesting deal for him. I don't think it would involve the Leafs. No, God, I would love James. I know. I know that's personal for you. Yeah. Um, it sounds like it's off the market, but for me, my number one is going to be Robin Leonard. Um, Right. But I think I think it's pretty fair to say that he's going to re-sign in Vegas. I mean, they're already talking about it. So I, I, there's smoke, there's fire there. Um, so if, let's assume Robin Lander's not available. Then I'll give you my three. Um, for me, it's got to be um, Matt Murray first. And the reason I say Matt Murray is because, yes, there's been injuries, but this is a guy that's won a couple cups. And I think that the fact that he doesn't have to come in and be necessarily that Matt Murray right away. He's got Jack Campbell to, to balance him out. So he plays 50 games. Jack Campbell plays 32. They keep him in really good condition. And part of what's held up Matt Murray recently is the fact that he's been injured. The Leafs have a great medical staff, although I'm not even really sure if they're allowed to use them in the off season now, because everybody was upset that they were practicing together. God forbid somebody tries to win a Stanley cup. Um, So Matt Murray's number one, because he's 26 years old. And I still think there's a potential there. If Markstrom makes it to, um, to the to market, I'm concerned about the length of contract that the lease would have to go on him. So if you have to go five years, you're really concerned about the next three, and that's really what you should be worried about. Um, Markstrom's number two on my list, uh, but he is, if he's not 30 already, he's closing in on it real quick. So uh, I do have some concerns there. And uh, number three, uh, and I hate to parrot you, Steve, but Darcy Kemper is so intriguing. Um, you know, this is a guy that completely looked like he was going to fall out of the league and never be heard from again and has, has turned it around and has been one of the most consistent Arizona Coyotes there's ever been in that, you know, since Nick, Nikolai Habibulin, like really, really consistent. And four and a half million dollars and probably relatively low acquisition cost. Uh, I mean, it doesn't even, it, it doesn't it even make sense to do like if, if Arizona is really concerned about money, doesn't Freddie Anderson make a lot of sense for them after that bonus paid. Same. And Same. you know, I mean, it's not like you do that one for one. I think, I think in that scenario, if Darcy Kemper, I don't know what his contract stipulates, but let's say Darcy Kemper mm-hmm. has no bonuses. Then if I'm the Leafs, I argue you've got to throw something else in. We, uh, and if, and if oh. you're the Arizona Coyotes, you're probably like, okay, because we have to shed salary. And that's when we get my boy, Shalmerson, who I've wanted to be a Leaf forever and ever. I'm in. He's got a year left on his deal. The Leafs could absolutely use him in a second or third pairing role. And, you know, there's a guy that can step up and be your second. He's won cups, won three cups with the, with the Blackhawks. Again, I want some Stanley Cup pedigree mixed in with these guys. I want guys that have been there a little bit. Muzzin's been there. You see the effect he's had. Um, you see the effect that Marlowe had, and he hadn't even won a cup. Uh, you know, there was, there was some like, – you need some of those guys who are like, I'm old and bitter and leathery, and I, I could come in and smack you around a little bit. And Shalmerson's a guy that yeah. plays the game the right way. What, imagine, you know, a guy like Timothy Lilligren and a guy like Rasmus Sandin learning from a guy like that 
uh, who they can speak to and relate to. I think he makes a lot of sense for the Leafs. Um, so I think Darcy, I would love to see the Leafs work out a deal for Darcy Kemper. I think he's a low cost option, two years left on the deal. Not much to lose there. What's interesting with Kemper, the reason there's two years left on the deal is because it's just beginning. So I guess he already signed an extension and his base salary this year with no bonuses whatsoever this year or next is three and a half. And then the following year it's five and a half. God, the Coyotes really got to decide whether or not they want to be an NHL team. Like if you can't afford to pay a player that good making that much, are you serious? Well, and that's why I keep looking at the, at the thing, the experiment in Arizona. And I, I do feel bad for Coyotes fans because they have never, ever been given a fair shake from the beginning, never been given a fair shake. But from a business perspective, how do you look at a team or a, a, um, a city like Kansas city and not move the franchise there? And all the, all the, you know, sweetening the pot to get rid of a contract with what? They don't pick till the fourth round this year. Well, that's what I mean. I think you, you're trying to shed salary. The Leafs could take a Shalmerson. It's a nightmare. Nightmare. It'd be nice. Clayton Keller's uh, Ooh, deal kicks contract. in. Man, people, people went after us about saying that, daring to say the Clayton Keller extension is bad. I'm not going to say it's bad yet. No, like, I mean, you know, the, that thing was going around about um, comparing William Nylander's numbers to Nathan McKinnon's. And Nylander actually has better numbers right now than Nathan McKinnon McKinnon signed his contract like four years ago. Yeah, and also, like, he signed it, like, coming out of a dog shit year. It's it's a unicorn. Like, we're not... We're not going to see a not, deal that that's sweet. That's not par ever. for the course, man. That's just no. Gonna... Who was doing this? I just saw it on Twitter. It was a it's bunch like, of people. Oh, oh you think God. Wayne Gretzky's good? Well, have you ever seen Jesus? Yeah. Like, and it's, you're not, like, what are we comparing? This, Wayne only made three mil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, Wayne only made eight mil with the LA Kings in 93, which actually was his salary. So, like, uh, all the, Clayton Keller is, is, how old is he? Where is he? He's 22. And he's already got a 65-point season under his belt. Now, that was two full seasons ago. But let's not pretend like he can't. There, there's, let's not pretend like there's no chance he ever lives up to his contract. The, right. the question for 22. me just becomes, the question for Is me just becomes, can the Coyotes pay it? Oh, yeah. He had seven points in their nine playoff games this year. Okay. So, okay. I mean, he was productive. But uh, Listen, I want it to wow. be good for them. I'm not rooting against the Coyotes. Like, this Why is- are you rooting against them? Uh, Cause I like kicking the little guy when he's, when they're down, like really it's, it's, it's just not, it's, it's a bad situation. And I think you got to look at that. Like COVID could force the first move of a franchise we've seen in 20 years. Maybe. Well, not 20 years, the jets. So not 20 yeah, years. Not Here's life. another weird option for the coyotes. Uh, they have to, you, you know who they have to pay this year? Marion Hosa to the tune of $1 million. I wonder if they'd be able to ditch him in some sort of deal. Can you even trade him? I don't know. God, what a mess. Do you see how this is nothing like the Vegas year? This is, a, this is catastrophic. Mm-hmm. This is a mess. A total mess. I have no idea what comes out of this. The most valuable players in the league have now become guys on ELCs who can play. With no Schedule A bonuses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Watch, I, you're going to have a guy with Schedule A's. He's going to put up 30 goals. Yes, shit! <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> yeah. What do yep. we do? Imagine like a guy like Matthews on a have-not team getting like scratched because he's sitting on 19 goals. Man, if only... <laughs> if, if only... You look at the, the fear that was going through Leafs Nation, and if only you could have said, hey, listen... You know there's going to be a global pandemic in a couple of years. <laughs> like maybe maybe don't worry so much. <laughs> now Kyle it sure Dubas, wouldn't have made, it would have made me uh, uh, spend a little bit more at the deadline. Yeah, there is wow. no tomorrow. Go go go. Kyle Dubas has got a job ahead of him because obviously yeah the Leafs have an advantage, but taking advantage of that advantage is going to be the challenge. So see if he can do it. We'll see. And you know I'm a I'm on record as a Kyle Dubas fan, but. He's got some work to do with this team. And uh, I think, you know, he's got the opportunity here where you could sign a pretty good free agent defenseman and probably add a couple more on the right side and, sh- and shore up whatever it is you need to shore up 
and the Leafs look like a completely different team next year with probably a new goalie too. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see if that's possible. The team I'm going to really watch though is the New York Rangers. That's what I'm excited about. For me, it's the Avs.